Hey, is that folk music that you play there? What is that? How do you call that folk music? <laughs> I think it was Studs Terkel who asked Big Bill Brunzi, did he consider his blues music to be folk music? And Big Bill says, well, uh, never heard no horse. <laughs> Thank you, Ralph. Thank you. Welcome to Horses Sing None of It, and our guest today is a man who's been known as the Italian Wayne Newton. Does Wayne Newton know that? <laughs> I don't know if he knows. Do you, do you know if he knows? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and his, re his real name is Larry Cutrone. And uh, I, I also wonder about uh, the, new, the uh, Star Ledger ran an article about me. The headline was the Hillbilly Pavarotti, and I'm sure Pavarotti doesn't know about it. Otherwise, <laughs> I probably would have heard from his legal advisors. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's nice to meet you in person. <laughs> nice to meet you. And uh, you live in Long Valley, New Jersey, is that right? That's right. That's right. And I, that style of mandolin that you're playing, I think of that as what most people 
in the United States think of as mandolin playing? I guess so, uh, although I am playing a plastic mandolin, right? <laughs> I mean, uh, it's uh, not a real, I mean, you know, it's uh, not it's classical mandolin, but... It's, it's a electric. serviceable mandolin. Serviceable. It's yes, a, it works. Fine, I'm glad to have it. And uh, that's obviously out of the Italian-American tradition? Well, it's, Italian it's Italian tradition. folk music. I mean, you know, a lot of guys play bluegrass, and they think they discovered a new instrument, but... <laughs> it's been around a lot longer than that, you know. Uh, when they had wooden round backs like bowls and they played beautiful melodies instead of very fast lightning runs, so, you know. And what, uh, what I, I mean, I've heard that song many times, but I have no idea what it means. Um, don't ask me, I just sing them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's about the, the sun, you know, it's a, uh, about the, the country. You know, I didn't know you were going to ask me that. I would have had to study the song. Um, <laughs> I just sing them. People always say, What'd you, it sounds so beautiful. What did you just say? I said, I don't know. But I just know that it's beautiful. Uh, it's about a guy talking about his country and, and how beautiful it is. And, you know, it's a, a love song to, about the country. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah. So it's a beautiful country. Did, did you grow up with, uh, with your parents or grandparents speaking Italian in the home around you? Only when they didn't want us to understand what they were saying. <laughs> you know, I mean... Uh, it got to the point, you know, where I went out and I studied Italian because I was uh, singing opera a little bit, studying opera. So I learned proper Italian and then came a day when I thought I was going to talk to my parents and they didn't understand me and I didn't understand them because they spoke dialect and I was speaking proper Italian so we weren't getting any place. <laughs> and everything that they used to say was, um, I guess, um, well, what do you call it, uh, slang words and stuff like that. And uh -huh. Things they didn't want us to know they were saying. So. <laughs> I couldn't talk to them. Where did you grow up? Uh, Livingston. Yeah, a uh, long time ago when it was uh, uh, very country. Mm. And now it's kind of built up. And my sister still lives there. She loves it. And I love visiting there. There's nice people there. I do a lot of nursing homes and stuff in that area. Okay, so you, uh, in your act that... I mean, you do a lot of different kinds of music. Yes. Uh, many of which we can't have on the show because of copyright problems. But you do country, you said. You right. do rock and roll oldies. You right. do a Las Vegas style show. Uh, with the lounge standards. act. Yeah, standards, the Sinatra stuff. But you today, know, today you're going to have to come and see me live to see that. So. Uh, and we'll, we'll give some information how people can get in touch with you a little bit later. But mm -hmm. let's, let's hear some more of this Italian music. Tell well, us what, what you're going to play. All right, I'm going to do uh, Way Marie. Okay, I think everybody knows this one. Uh, as soon as you hear it, I think you'll know it.
I'm singing to you. Cool. Uh, so you recognized it, right? Yeah. Okay. Sure. Uh, now this this machine that has all the background, it, you program in the, the background to this. Yes. Um, I get on my keyboard, okay, and do all the arrangements, and then put them on mini disc. I don't want to pull it out because it's queued up, but you know it's a little floppy disk. Uh huh. And, you know, and so uh, you re actually record all the backgrounds for yeah. your stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well. Most of them. Yeah. A lot of them I get backgrounds done. You know, you can buy sequences and stuff like mm -hmm. that. Because a, a lot of stuff is, uh, some of the instrumentation is very difficult for some of these Italian songs to, to do. You know, beyond me, a lot of it. You know, so I, I buy those sequences and use those. But these songs are, if you notice, they have kind of a modern beat to them. Uh -huh. You know, they've all been redone. I mean, these songs are 100 years old. You know, and they're Lucky not. for us. Yeah, <laughs> but they do sound nice, even if I didn't have all this going on, you know. And I was in a park and had a monkey and some chestnuts, <laughs> you know, grinding an organ. So you mentioned to me on the phone that you had a number of uh, very prominent artists that you have worked with or opened for. Or yeah, I, w I worked uh, at Rodney Dangerfield's uh, and worked with a lot of people there. They came in every weekend, and I worked for Rodney. Uh, for a few months, and uh, I was, uh, it was during prom time, and actually it was when I was doing a very bad John Denver impression, <laughs> and uh, I would, it was the opening act, you know, I had my Martin guitar, and I was singing uh, Country Roads and stuff like that, and, and Rodney was a nice guy to work for, a very funny guy, very funny guy. He is he, funny. He had me cracking up. <laughs> so who are, so who are some of the acts that you got to meet through that uh, Boy, opportunity? Uh, well, through other stuff, I met uh, Bob Hope and Pat Boone and <coughs> Virginia Mayo, and uh, I'm trying to think of everybody. Um, people probably don't remember Virginia Mayo. She was a big movie star. And because um, I also worked on another TV show, and uh, I'm crossing over between the TV show and, and the live act and stuff like that, but I worked with a lot of people. And uh, Chubby Checker, I, Chubby Checker, I worked for his. Um, the publishing company, I was writing songs at the time, you don't want to hear them, and uh, they said, why don't you write him a hit? So I think I wrote Twist in Jersey, have you heard it? <laughs> <laughs> Nobody has. At the time, if it was for Chubby, you just wrote Twist in this, Twist in that, you know. <laughs> I'm twisting my way home, should twist have, in my back, you know. <laughs> should have submitted it for one of the uh, New Jersey State songs. <laughs> Twisting with Chubby, Chubby's <laughs> Twist Out. <laughs> So, cool. I never was able to write a twist song for him, you know. But he's a nice guy. All right. Uh, ready for another one? Yeah, now? let's have okay. another tune. What are we about to hear? Uh, Santa Lucia. <laughs> Picture you're on a boat going down the river, the Sag River. <laughs> and there's a guy in the boat who's probably going to rob you. <laughs>
So we should show folks you have a CD, That's Life. That's Life and other things. The theme from The Godfather in Italian. Uh, one of the songs I did today. Ralph, you have to hold it closer. I uh, can't see anymore. Yeah. Yeah, I can't see that. Yellow it's Bird. You're okay. supposed to remember that. Yeah, well, I did a lot of these things. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, so south of the Border, Down Mexico Way. I want to be around to pick up the pieces. Guitar Romano. Uh, yeah, uh, I think there's a few more in there. Yeah. So there are various other recordings that are available. People can contact you. Yes. If uh, uh, Alec can bring up the graphic, we'll get the information there. I think it's uh, Larry Cutrone can be reached by email at valleyvid at goes.com and the number for more information performing schedule or information is uh, 908-876-9627 and uh, you can get more information about the recordings and the appearances of Larry Cutrone at that number yeah I have about a thousand of them so there's plenty <laughs> left okay I mean, I have about 28 relatives, and I had 2,000 made, so you figure it out. <laughs> so each of the 28 relatives bought 200, huh? <laughs> <laughs> they were good relatives. <laughs> um, what do we do, another one? So, uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm curious about, uh, Go ahead. I don't know much about like what a Las Vegas act does. I've never been to Las Lounge Vegas. Lounge acts? Yeah. Well, you know, um, restaurants and stuff like that, uh, uh, Seasons Hotel, places like that where they'll have a, a lounge act, okay, where people are eating and they didn't ask for entertainment but you're kind of there, <laughs> you know, and it's a little more than uh, the guy playing the piano, this is more of a, a one-man band, it's soft and in the background and you're doing lounge music. So you're covering like Frank Sinatra, yeah, Perry to Como. Tony Bennett, you know, all that stuff. And uh, instrumentals, you know, Cheek to Cheek and all those songs, a lot of standards, Perfidia, you know, just nice dinner background music, you know. I've put a lot of people to sleep, Ralph. <laughs> you know, this is real elevator, dentist music, you know. Stuff when you get a root canal, you really want to hear this. You know? <laughs> but you must enjoy it because you keep doing it. Um, I really do enjoy it. <laughs> I really do enjoy putting people to sleep, Ralph. <laughs> You know, all the insomniacs come to see me, you know, I can't sleep. Go see Larry, he's going to be at season. So, oh, yeah. Now I can sleep. <laughs> this is what was missing all my life. You. I need 90 minutes of you. You know, so. That, that could be a market, this, the sleep recording market. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, I do some exciting stuff too, you know. My wife is probably watching this saying, I don't believe it, he's killing himself. <laughs> You know, who's going to come and see you after you tell me to put them to sleep? But you get one of my CDs and it'll put you to sleep. <laughs> Puts me to sleep. <laughs> okay. You ready to go uh, to yeah, sleep? Let's, yeah, let's, let's see if I can snooze <laughs> off how during much, the next number. How much time do we have? We've got uh, about well, six minutes. We have six minutes, huh? Okay.
cha cha cha. That sounds like the South American arrangement. Yeah, it's a little uh, <laughs> jazzed up uh, a bit. So. Okay, well we've got just enough time, I guess, to go out with, uh, what is this number we, we went over? Uh, the Butcher Boy. Actually, that's what it's known as. It's called uh, Cella Luna Menzamare, uh, which means I think I ordered a turkey club to go. <laughs> no, I, don't know. I don't know what it is. It's Sicilian. You know what I mean? My father was Sicilian. I didn't understand him either. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> but I did like his music, you know, and I liked him too. He was a nice guy. He got me to appreciate this stuff. Are you going to sit in on this with me? Yeah, I'll play a little harmonica. Okay. All right. When I, when I did have a previous Italian act on the DeFranco family and I played harmonica with them, they said, oh, they play a lot of harmonicas in Italy. Yeah, they actually do. They actually do. And, and you do quite well with that thing. You know, you ought to try doing this for a living. <laughs> well, I guess I should try that sometime. <laughs> okay, how are we doing? Shall we have a go at it or yes, what? Yes, sir. Okay. By all means. Thanks for being on the show. C'è la luna mezzo mar, mamma mia, mamma mia, dare. Dio mio, che te dare, mamma mia, non c'è già di te. Se ti brio, mi sciori, se vai, se vai, se non lo vesci, ma le vengo. I just remembered, this was on Fraggle Rock. Second <laughs> Now for you nice people who understand the Italian language, you're going to do the next verse in Metagon. <laughs> Lazy Mary, get out of bed. She answered back, I am not able. Lazy Mary, get out of bed. We need the sheets for the table. Lazy Mary, you smoke in bed. There's only one man you should marry. My advice to you to be is to pay attention to me.